that's a nice ball through to the edge of the penalty area. Manchester United might be in a spot of bother, and it's the opening score, and it's come from Pierre Aqua. Charging into the penalty area from midfield and applies the finishing touch. Plenty of space in the penalty area and a comfy finish. And the home side open the scoring. West Ham 1, United 0. Yeah, neatly taken, neatly taken goal and a really good move. Just made sure that he ran on the blind side, Equa. Nobody went with him. And it was a tidy finish, just placed it into the bottom corner. He is a very capable player, this lad. I've been watching him for a number of years. I'm surprised, actually, that he he hasn't been taken on loan somewhere. I know there was talk of him going to Sunderland, Liam, but that's what he can give you from midfield. Not a great goal to concede from a Manchester United point of view. He was completely unmarked and just a lack of communication and a lack of staying with your runners has cost them. West Ham, though, on the front foot again here. Manchester United again having to deal with this situation, and they haven't done. And this time, finishing touch by Mabama. And Manchester United are two behind inside 12 minutes. Cut apart by West Ham, 2-0. Well, ended up in the same bottom corner, didn't it? And this is after United carelessly give the ball away over on that far side. And he's strolling away. Again, nobody gone with him at all and Mubama gives his side a 2-0 lead and they're very very comfortable goals that they've scored but from a United perspective the defending and the communication and the lack of staying with runners is going to be a worry it's good work from Gerardo Mejia does well to recover from the slip it's the ball out to Hanson Aaron Slid through, chance here for Manchester United, cross comes in, turned away. And Forson gets the cross into the penalty area, thought he was going to put his laces through it, but instead decided to chop it back, wins the corner. Yeah, it's better. It's better for Manchester United. Actually getting into positions where they can try and hurt West Ham, which they rarely did in the first half. Oh, Yeah, referee's going to give it as well. <laughs> Clumsy looking tackle. It's a question as well, isn't yeah. it? Questions being asked, it's Sam Murray that's down. Sam Murray holding the side of his head. Referee is going to call the trainer on here, and I think it's Dan Chester's. So, it will be Joe Hugill against Christian Heggie. Manchester United looking to get themselves back into the game. Would be an excellent time for Manchester United to get one back. From 12 yards... Referee blows his whistle. Up steps Hugo and scores brilliantly. Down low to the right-hand side, and Manchester United have got a lifeline. Great penalty from Manchester United striker. And maybe, just maybe, the comeback's on, Ben. Really good penalty. It always worries me when I see people going with their, their right foot into the bottom left-hand corner, but it's a terrifically well-struck penalty. All the goals have gone into that bottom left-hand corner of that goal. Including this corner. Chance for Gerardo, chance for Manchester United, equaliser for Manchester United, and it's Joe Hugo latching onto the end of it. Johnny on the spot, two apiece. Brilliant. Super touch, obviously one from the training ground. Really, really good touch from Mark Gerardo. And he just fired that ball, goal bound. That is a super touch that. He gets away from Forsen and Joe Hugill just sticks out a long leg and guides it into the bottom corner. They're all appealing for offside, but that is what's done it. Super touch from Mark Gerardo. Got both centre-backs up here, Al Joffrey and Hardley. Here it comes, flicked on. Chance for United, go for United! And it is the big centre-back that puts it home. And Manchester United pat Sonny Al Joffrey on the head because the second-half substitute up from the back has nodded home from close range and United from 2-0 down to 3-2 up. Well, he's been outstanding since he's, he's come onto the field at half-time. 
Defensively, he's not put a foot wrong. He's played some great passes. And now from another training ground routine where the ball's whipped into the near post. And it just shows you it doesn't matter how much height you've got in the team. If you've got accuracy and you've got pace on the ball, you can cause any team problems. And the little flick, I'm not actually too sure who was flicking it on.